Hello guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creation, Fall DIYs, Wagons, and Baskets. I am currently working with my mind to get me a set of, uh, cutting down a set of paint stir sticks I got off of Amazon. The long pieces for the wagon are going to be 5 inches. The short pieces for the wagon will be 3 inches. So I'm going to cut those pieces down and then save those rather parts. Those make really cute little additions to uh, crafts later on. Don't throw them away. And those biter shears are absolutely wonderful for cutting down uh, paint stir sticks, craft sticks, whatever. And I'm going to use those little blocks that I got from Dollar Tree Store. I'm going to set them up to where I can make the little sides of it match up. And... Uh, then, of course, when I do the other side, I glue it to the side of the thing, but it still works out. So, whatever you do something that's different than what your mind was saying, just to keep a rocking with it. So, now all I've got to do is put some glue on the bottom. And then I'm going to work on the other side. Put it together. And that way I have the, the beginning stages of this little wagon. And uh, you'll see when I go to put the top piece on, instead of putting it on the outside like the bottom piece is, I try to put it on the inside and then have to take it out. But you'll see that's another one of those things that if you think quick enough when you're doing it, see it should have went to the outside and not to the inside like that. But because it's the, out, the long pieces that stays on the outside, not the short pieces. But you'll see me, because whenever I turn it upside down, I realize real quick that the uh, it's off-centered, it's cattywampus, so you'll see me pull it apart and fix it. Here it is, just hold the glue together, and there's where I realize, wait a minute, that wasn't right. So, this is how easy it was to fix. You just pull it out, put your glue on the top, where it's supposed to go, like, you know. See, I'm not a very good carpenter, but I do know when something doesn't look straight. So, there we've got that part, and now I'm going to, to uh, make sure it's even. I'm going to put another one in the center, because I'm going to put some craft sticks in to make the floor with, so I have something to set my little bell of hay on. And that works out pretty good. It's probably not up to code. Anybody that does carpentry would know that you. I could have put something else in there. But there's my craft sticks. I'm going to measure them out. Cut the little round area off of it first. And then measure the other side so that I can see what size I need. Just marking it with a pencil. Cut it off and then lay it down in there. And then I'll mark the other two. Uh, that I need to go in. I'm going to leave a little space in between them um, so that, you know, like little wagons or decks on your porch, you have a little space so the water can go down. This, of course, won't be sitting outside, but, you know, try to be as authentic as I can be. From what I remember, I rode in a couple of wagons, but I've not really attempted to make one. So, there we go. Keep those little, little pieces you're clipping off. If you ever decide to do a little shingle roof on a house or something, they would come in really handy. And here I go with the hot glue, just gluing down the floor in it. And um, it does make a really nice little floor. Then I'll turn it over and that'll give me the little depth of the wagon that I need. I had to put a little bit more glue on that end because it wasn't wanting to stay together very well. And now I'm going to take a uh, smaller, break a regular popsicle stick and measure it for the little handle. And take my miter shears and cut it off. Tried to cut it where it had a little angle. That didn't work. So I just cut it off straight and put it in a little angle with the hot glue and uh, held it into place a little bit. And then one of those little pieces that I had taken off, uh, the little other part of the craft stick, the little round part, I just got a piece of that. You see me get it here in a second. 
and hot glue it on to secure that. And it's still staying in place, so that did work. Just needed a little extra wide brace at the bottom so that uh, it would be able to keep going. And I have to set my thing so my timer don't go off on my, takes me a black screen. Now I've taken two poker chips like I did with the uh, train wheels, glued them together, and now I'm painting them all black for the wheels for my wagon. They make really good wheels. And uh, I have plenty. I also got those at the auction and was wondering what on earth am I going to do with all those uh, poker chips. But making wheels for things, I'm using up pretty good. I took made that one flag with the chips. So they do come in handy. I'm, you know, it's always say somebody's trying to let me know what I'm supposed to be doing. So they push me in the right direction to keep or get rid of stuff. And there we go. We've got them. All the wheels are painted. We're going to let them dry. And in the meantime, I painted that little wagon in the uh, pumpkin by Waverly. Now we're going to get together and put those they've dried. We're going to put those wheels on. Measured up about a half an inch. Trying to see if I could you know, keep a little bit of the wagon on the top. And you'll see me. Each one of those wheels I put on, I try to put it on to where it makes it even. Because I want my wagon to set even. I'm not a perfectionist. But I do like for stuff to look nice. When I get done with it. So far everything that I've made looks fairly decent. Um, now I'm going to uh, get my bell hay. I got that at the Dollar Tree. And those little pumpkins are sitting right there. And right now I'm hunting for a little piece of something to go in the bottom of that wagon. To hold everything in place so it don't fall all the way through. And that's just a little piece of uh, chipboard that I got at Michael's. Um, this couple of times ago I was down there. And I'm going to take, and this straw goes everywhere. But I'm going to sit there and that goes little pumpkins. And then I got some little wool pumpkins, little orange ones. And I'm going to just decorate my little wagon. Here I go with the orange pumpkins. I will put one on top and one on each side at the back. And then I think I take a couple of those little white pumpkins and put them on the front. Just kind of, you know, have something in my wagon be pulled up the road. There we go with the little white ones. And then I guess this, I'm uh, thinking this whole time I'm putting these pumpkins on. That top needs a little something, something. So I'm looking around on the top of my thing and I find this bunch of pumpkin, or, you know, uh, pine cones. And it had little pumpkins in it that I used in my, my little baskets and stuff. So there we go. Now she's all done. Nice and pretty. Hope you enjoyed it. DIY number two, tuna can basket. Speaking of the basket, that's the next thing in line to do. Um, I see this project done with a can lid. And since I did not have one or a jar lid, I thought, well, I'll try the tuna can. So I went, that's what I was looking at for when I went out into the storage about that. So that is the clothespins, I think I picked them up at Dollar General store, 48 in a package, and you just pop the little center uh, spring out of it. And you're going to take and glue the flat edge with the little curvy spots to the outside. You'll see why in a minute. I uh, take off all the paper. And then I decided, huh, I'm going to have to paint it, paint it a color. Do I want to paint it orange or brown? And I think I've decided, yep, I settled on brown. That is, I'm wanting to say hazelnut, but it may be burnt umber as far as the paint is concerned. It's a dark brown, but I'm thinking it's hazelnut. 
And then I'm going to get my paintbrush ready. Paint all the outside. Now I did have to on each can because it is metal. I had to put two coats of paint. You don't have to really worry about putting Mod Podge on it because the Mod Podge uh, or the paint will be covered up by those little clothespins. So just as long as you got it, the paint, the can all covered in. So I do end up covering the whole thing and the bottom and I let it dry and then I come back and put the clothespins on it. Just taking a, uh, that, I'm telling you right there, I'm going to take a ball apart while the paint's drying. So now I have two cans painted, both two, two layers on each one, and I'm going to start gluing it together. You just put your line of glue down. Uh, and try to stay as straight as you can, but a line of glue down, and then you put your clothespin in. Now, on these two, I did just use hot glue because I was trying to get it done for the uh, live, but I would suggest that you put a layer of uh, Fix-All adhesive that you get at Walmart, I mean at uh, Dollar Tree Store. It's kind of like E6000. Put it along the top and then hot glue at the bottom. The hot glue will hold it in there on a on a uh, per, on a temporary basis, but then the fix all will hold it on on a permanent basis. Because so I noticed after I got them all together, some of those uh, I had to re-glue some of the uh, clothespins on and try to set it down so it stays nice and straight. Just keep going all the way around the basket, and it turns out to be a really cute little. Or like an apple basket or a potato basket from back in the day. You just keep and see where those little indentations are. I went in and I put jute rope all the way around it. And now I'm taking the same jute rope and I'm going to cut and make little handles to go on the side of it. I just decorated them up. But that, y'all, you just put that, take your hot glue and put the jute rope all around those little indentations and then take another little piece and put it on for the handle. It uh, And they turned out really super cute. I have two that I've got decorated up already for with my pumpkins. And then I've got one more that I'm going to put my little apples in and put it on my little apple coffee bar. I hope you enjoy this little project because it was really super fun and super cute. To work on, it's one of those you know try me to, try me things. I've seen it done on on a YouTube video. Can't remember the lady's name, but it was not my original idea. Although she did use a lid where I used a tuna can, but I just made it my own. Just uh, made really cute little decorations out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for pictures. They're coming.